All right, we had our first three full green-white checkers in NASCAR history earlier today. We're going to have our first attempt today here in the nationwide race. It is Kevin Harvick on the low side, McMurray, Boyer, Vickers, Brad Keselowski, and Menard, your top six as we go green. Billy, can you explain to Clint or uh, Dylan to explain to Clint exactly how we did that in the last race? So that's what he needs to do. I told him I, earlier with about 15 to go, 18 to go, I was like, you guys want to make a move now? Go ahead. We, we're good with it. So that is Harvick's radio and the conversation, and there is Clint coming, and there's McMurray saying, whoa, I thought I was your dance partner. It looks like Clint was paying attention because he's doing just exactly what Harvick wanted him to do, and that's put that bumper right to him, try to get him out front here, and then he'll have his shot at winning. Yeah, and Jamie McMurray had a good run there, and he got a nice push from Brian Vickers, but he pushed him too far. Here Shelby. we go, three wide and for oh, second. Look out. Here they go. The 88 on the high side getting the push from Vickers. Here comes Harvick saying, ah, I remember this guy. I'll dance with him. Yeah, but don't forget about Boyer on the bottom there. Vickers right behind him. Boyer now has the 27 as his partner and Scott Wimmer. White flag. White flag. Here we go. Harvick in front. Can he make NASCAR history and win both ends of a nationwide Sprint Cup doubleheader in one day? He's going to have to fight them all from both sides right here. He's got cars coming here each way. Here comes McMurray with a head of steam. McMurray, oh, look out, a little contact with a 32. McMurray says, hey, I was in front the last time. You took it away from me earlier today. He's going to try and take it away oh, from here. Oh, he's hung in the middle. Here he comes Keselowski. got trouble now. Keselowski's got Legato oh, on the hard side. Look out, they're going to go there around. McMurray. Uh, oh, big crash. Oh, and up into the wall. Look out. The caution is out. The race will finish. And it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to get the race win. Bring it here. Bring it here. We will check with NASCAR officials because of where the field would be set when the yellow came out. Unofficially, it looks like Brad Keselowski has taken the win. And tough break for Kenny Wallace there. Oh, it's good to see that right there. That is Dennis Setzer as... Boy, that car lick, is boy. torn up. They got up in the catch fence. Catch fence right. did its job, though. Put, put the car right back on the track. The word from NASCAR is they want to recheck the video and the scoring lines before they make the official word. You, you like make a U-turn. Come back around. Nice job, guys. Nice, nice job. Yeah, that sounded like uh, the captain, Roger Penske's voice. Brian Scott's car torn up. Brendan gone. Brendan gone, heartbeat. torn up as well. Yeah, they're actually having all these guys turn around on the back stretch and come back. Yeah, because there is so the much way. damage. They don't want them running through the uh, that accident scene up there. They want to give all of these workers plenty of room. They don't want race cars coming by this. So they're turning them around. And you can see how much debris is scattered everywhere on this racetrack. Let's go back and take another look and see what happened. See McMurray trying to get in line right here, right behind Harvard, just not enough room. Yeah, and he had to check up for just a second because he was on the rear, right rear quarter of Kevin Harvick. And then once he goes around, the chaos wow. begins. Look at Setzer. Setzer. Wow. Good to see him get out of that car, but that catch fence does its job. Well, and remember, they raised the catch fence after last year's race here. Also stretched it out over the racetrack. You're right. It did its job. Another view. Let's see right there. Jamie Murray just trying to get in. He was going to try to get there and push Kevin Harvick. Just got to remember an opening. They're coming to the checker flag, so they're not going to let off. Let's go on board with Justin Allgaier. Just listen. Two outside. Two up, spin in front of you. Watch him clear the bottom. You know, this was the last race for these type cars here because at Daytona they'll run the, the new car, but this wasn't how they wanted to send them back for sure. This is the way Keselowski wanted to go out, though, with this car. 
and he's, the wind. he's burning the tires off right there. We got one checkered flag today. That was cool. Great job, everybody. And the official word from NASCAR is yes, it is Brad Keselowski's win, his first win here at Talladega in his fourth race in the Nationwide Series, seventh career win, the first since Memphis last October. So now Dodge who had gone well since 07 without a win, now has two wins at Bristol with Allgaier and now here with Brad Keselowski. So you can see he's already burned the tires to the cords. We'll check on all the people that were involved in this, get an update on their conditions, and of course we'll talk to our winner when we come back. Back here at Talladega, that's the scene of where Dennis Setzer got into the catch fence. It did its job and kept him inside the racetrack, and you can see the marks on the safer barrier as well. While we're waiting for uh, the Hellman's Victory Circle celebration to begin, let's go to Shannon with Carl Edwards. What a day for Carl Edwards. Uh, take me back to the very beginning of the race. Uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was behind you. I know you just spoke with him. What happened? Yeah, Ricky just came over and made sure I knew that the guy behind him was pushing him really hard. I hadn't seen the back of my car yet, but uh, my guys got, went in the garage and used those uh, Metabo power tools and uh, got the fast and all Copart Fusion back together. I got hit so hard, I couldn't believe that the car would still run. So, um, you know, it's like Drew said, we've had bad luck the last two weeks, but we had great race cars. We're fast and Luckily, we got a lot of races left, so we just have to keep digging. And Carl Edwards is still fifth in the points. We're going to let him go. We have Ricky Stenhouse Jr. over here as well. We just heard Carl say you did speak with him. What did you learn out there today at Talladega on your first start? Well, uh, definitely got to be patient at the beginning. Um, you know, we were coming to that competition caution there, and not sure it, who was behind us, either the 11 or maybe the 70, uh, just got into us all the way down the short chute and uh, got us through the tri -oval and. I was in the brakes as hard as I could, and unfortunately we got into Carl, but, um, you know, we had a, felt like we had an engine, uh, maybe a plug wire or something, you know, mechanical there with the engine, and, uh, you know, we'll take it back to the shop and look at it, but uh, the City Financial car was pretty good today. Um, you know, it would run up there with those guys, and uh, we had March of Dimes on there this weekend, so it was good that uh, we brought it home in one piece, but uh, definitely not the finish we were looking for, but, uh, you know, you know, like Carl said, we've had bad luck, just, uh, you know, we got got fast cars, got good guys behind us, and uh, we'll just have to go to Richmond next week. Well, it was a 29th place finish for Ricky Stenhouse Jr., but guys, he was there at the end. Marty? All right, thank you, Shannon. As you can see, oh, look at the carnage behind, but there is the Hellman's Victory Circle, and it's time to talk to our race winner. Come on, buddy. Another special day for Brad K. <laughs> Talladega, great job, buddy. Take us through that green-white checker, that final restart. Well, green-white checkers at uh, Talladega are crazy. About 30 minutes ago, I did a green-white checkered and uh, cup side and wrecked out pretty hard. And uh, didn't even think I was going to get to run this race. I was in infield care center, and uh, I couldn't get approved to run because uh, my carbon monoxide level was too high. So, man, to, to go from the, that moment where I thought, wow, I just lost the championship, I'm not even going to get to run, to getting in the car and winning the race and exciting race, just amazing. Uh, it's an awesome feeling to be here in Talladega. This track means a lot to me and the fans that come here that uh, die hard NASCAR fans, to be able to win in front of them, it's pretty cool. And you also did something no one's ever done. You gave your crew chief, Paul Wolf his very first ever victory as a crew chief. That's awesome, man. Paul's been in the sport for a little while and builds great race cars. So it's great to get him in victory lane. Uh, along with Discount Tire, it's their 50th anniversary uh, this weekend. So uh, glad that we could do that for them. And first win that I've had for Penske, uh, it feels pretty good. And he reassumes the points, leads guys. He says he wants to give Roger Penske something Roger doesn't have. And that is a NASCAR championship. Mike. And something Jason Keller hasn't had in a while, a top five finish. Great run for you today, bringing home fourth. Well, it really was. You know, the, the car was really good. We, uh, My whole plan was to, to, to lay in the back, and, and um, uh, we charged up there to fifth, uh, and, and the car was really driving great, and uh, just rolled back there, just in the right place at the right time. I just want to thank uh, Pro Motors. We knew we had great motors all year long. We just had to get the cars on them, and the uh, car drove good. And, uh, happy birthday to Joe, and uh, it was uh, mine and his birthday on Friday, so it's a good way to spend the birthday, but I just hope everybody's okay, and uh, tell... Uh, Jade and a devil of them. 
And a top five finish, certainly something Jason Kelly wanted desperately today. Shannon? Well, one very happy driver, Johnny Borneman and uh, the third, he's down here, finished fifth in this race here today. What does this win mean for you and this team? Well, it's like a win, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, this fifth place finish. Fifth place, this is, un this is unbelievable. You know, we came here very strapped for money and just come here to live the dream and had an opportunity to buy a, a good Abraham car and just come down here and run well and uh, had a great time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kevin. Thanks. He just went on the roof of your car, or the hood of your car. Very, very little sponsorship, Redline Oil and Twisted X Boots. I know my mom and dad are jumping off the couch and grandpa back home, and I wish, wish Cassie could be here to see this. This is the best day of my life. Very emotional down here. Dave? Well, kind of the reverse effect down here. Jamie McMurray had a car he thought he could win the race with. Uh, we're going to roll the incident here for you, Jamie. What, what did you feel uh, rather than see? Well, I got, uh, I, they made it three wide on the back stretch, and I just, I was trying to get back to the bottom, uh, and I saw there was a gap between uh, between Harvick and Boyer, and, you know, when you're looking out of the out of the side mirror, it's it's not as, as clear as what you think it was what it needs to be, and and um, I just, as soon as I felt him, I tried to get back up the racetrack to, to not wreck everybody, but, you know, unfortunately, I I, uh, I, I couldn't couldn't save it and ended up uh, spinning out there, so, unfortunately, I had a really good Hellman's Mayonnaise uh, car. It, uh, it would lead, and, and you could push guys it was a really good car so um unfortunately i hate it for those guys that i tore their stuff up and with both races today how do you feel about being kind of the new go-to guy at restrictor plate tracks yeah. well I, I didn't do so well here at the end but uh you know i i don't know i mean i enjoy this and i've been really fortunate i've been lucky a lot of times to get in the right uh the right car in the right situation and and guys tend to want to work with you so um i really enjoy it but i've, I've wrecked a lot of these you know after winning daytona i think i wrecked the next four or five in a row and and, and never had a better than 30th place finish so I, uh, I am definitely enjoying what, uh, what we've got going right now. All right, we hope the pendulum swings back the other direction for Jamie.